Miss Hall, have you composed yourself? Yes. What you did, no matter the reason, was unforgivable. Wrong! Yes, I know. However, you committed this crime in order to prove Mr. Master's innocence. If the true culprit is someone else, we have a duty to reinvestigate. No false evidence from the IS-7 incident remains in the official case file. Fuck off, you fucking cunt! Moreover, there is no evidence to lead credence to Miss Hall's testimony. The body was here. We should first arrest Miss Hall as the culprit behind today's incident. Ah, fuck off. We cannot be certain that all the case files are accurate. After all, the prosecutor in the case has a history of forging evidence. Are you suggesting that the PIC overlooks such a prosecutor? Yes. <laughs> That's none of my concern. The truth is that evidence was falsified. I, <laughs> Whether you did it intentionally or unintentionally, yes. He was able to falsify evidence. And the fact that Mr. Dover's body from 18 years ago was just discovered proves it. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I can see remnants of Prosecutor Von Coma within you. What did you say? You try to deceive the PIC and fabricate the truth. Let me inform you of my, or rather, the PIC's logic. Fucking slap her around. I acknowledge the prosecutors in Von Karma fabricated the information about the body. However, he successfully convicted Master Master as an accomplice. Wrong, he lied. Because they wanted to do the fucking meme shit, where he was like, oh, he's convicted of, like, being a murderer. Like, that's what he tried to, like, forge on. I believe that the true culprit was Miss Curator herself. She even attempted to murder Mr. Gustavia today in order to pin the blame on him. Is that really what the PIC believes? Yes, every word I utter is for the sake of law and order. Totally. It seems she intends to hide the truth for the sake of the PIC. At this rate, neither Mr. Hall, or Mr. Master, or Miss Hall will be saved. I acknowledge that Prosecutor Von Karma fabricated the evidence. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, he didn't really do shit, he just confessed. I heard that the biggest factor in Mr. Master's conviction was his confession. If Prosecutor Von Karma had a hand in his confession, the ruling may not may not be just. The initial investigation was handled by Detective Rip Lacer. He was the one who obtained the confession, according to the uh, official reports. All I can say is that the ruling has already been handed down. Jeez, why does Miss Courtney have to be so stubborn? Is the PIC so high and mighty? They sure seem like the arch enemy of the prosecutors, to say the least. Mm. So they're kind of what the police are to the great thieves. Says the great thief, who nonchalantly works alongside the police. I thought you said the PIC believes, not you. Are you saying that both Miss Hall and Mr. Master murdered Miss, uh, Mr. Isaac Dover? Mr. Master committed the murder. Well, Miss Curator moved the body. That's what I believe. What? How can you say that? 
We would never kill Monsignor Dover. Did you not steal the body and preserve it for 18 years? It is only natural to suspect you of being an accomplice. She's already confessed to her crimes, and now is not the time to judge her for her past actions. Statue of Limitations, bitch, shut the fuck up! In that case, let's judge Miss Hall for her current crime. I feel like I need to, like, throw this at her. She's an accomplice. He fabricated the information about the body. Let me impress on that. Acknowledge that. Why won't you reopen the case? The goddess of law does not err in her judgments. While Prosecutor Von Karma may have used underhanded tactics, it's not underhanded. It's a lying. If you ask me, it's all been bogus ever since Von Karma fabricated evidence. Which in real court, it, he would get immediately overturned. Like that. Dude would be walking free right this second. He claimed justice was served. What is the PIC thinking? I can already declare my verdict. There is no need for further investigation. Let's hear your explanation on the matter, then. Oh, God. Hold it. If you wanted to pin the crime on somebody, why choose Mr. Gustavia? Miss, perhaps Mr. Gustavia suspected Miss Hall was the criminal. as he attempted to confirm whether or not the Gemini sculpture was genuine. He was uh, caught in a trap meant to silence him forever. Can you prove that theory? Mr. Gustavia is currently teetering on the brink of death. There's probably no way to prove it unless he regains consciousness. In other words, there's nothing we can do for now. That can't be true. There must still be something we can do. You still don't get it, do you? Allow me to give you a clear explanation. We already have ample evidence for both it and today's poison gas. Whoa, what's the evidence? What's the ample evidence? Hey, hey! By ample evidence, you mean? For the IS-7, we have the body and the murder weapon. And a pair of suspects. You do not have the body. For the poison and gas, well, you now have a body. We have the two chemicals that in Miss Hall's confession. Furthermore, I have finished collecting all the evidence necessary for your own PIC hearing, Prosecutor Edgeworth. What? How can you say something like that so casually? Miles, you know you are uh, uh, always welcome to join the Edgeworth Law Offices. Judge Courtney, I'd like to ask that you refrain from making such needless remarks. Mm-hmm. I understand. Well, regardless. There's no need to investigate anything. Can I throw this at her? Okay, no. I was gonna be like, well, you didn't have a body, but whatever. I guess now. They, when she says we have a body, I, I, I assume, like, now. We already have that. Uh, I guess, like, press this. Hold it. Are you saying that there is nothing left for us to investigate? We've already exhausted all ends in regards to the evidence. This court will accept no further deliberations. I shall now deliver my ver verdict for the defendant, Catherine Hall. I hereby pronounce you. Hold it! I still need to further investigate. If you wish to halt my verdict, please do with so with evidence. 
That is, if there is any evidence that requires further deliberation. I cannot allow this case to end here. There is still something that needs to be cleared up. <clears throat> Looks like I'll have to show Judge Courtney something to convince her. So it's the last one. There's no need. So what's something we haven't actually... Could be this. We haven't really investigated, like, the blood statue or whatever. We haven't, like, really investigated the burner. We haven't investigated this. Objection! This? Oh, okay. Uh, we should really investigate all leads, you know? Fuck, um... We're afraid from speaking, blah, blah, blah. Oh! What else do we need to fucking investigate? I just have to fucking throw everything at the wall. Jesus. Um. The trolley being wet. We already investigated that. The chocolates, we already left. We already investigated that. We already investigated that. Uh. Fuck. We didn't investigate the statue. This? Uh, we haven't investigated the I-7. Presenting. What the place was it used to heat something? Well, we know it was used to heat the glass, but like... This? this? God, I'm gonna fucking run out of shit. Next time, for sure, I'll present evidence self silencer. Uh. Uh. Okay, let me actually just go through all this. Let me, like, just. Not necessarily, like, silently read, but, like, fucking silently fucking read because holy shit. It wasn't that. What, is there anything in here? I mean, we could like... We didn't investigate why the things were different necessarily, but we kind of did. Um, um, don't need to investigate that. Used gas burner. I did try that. We already investigated that. We would have already investigated that. Yeah, we, did, well, we fucking talked about that. We don't need to investigate the angel. Well, we did. We already know what was in there. Um, no fingerprints were left found. Uh, this was in the past. We don't need to investigate that. Oxal lamp. Family photo, teapot, sketch. What is this? I mean, sure. Oh, hey, look. Thank God. There's still one piece of evidence from the IS-7. That remains unsettled. Take a look at this. This is... This is the forensic results from the Gemini sculpture that melted in the Winter Palace. According to the results of the analysis, traces of someone's blood were found. Who does this blood belong to? Until we know the answer, the case is still open. Technically. There was blood mixed in with the remains of the Gemini sculpture. I heard nothing of this from Sebastian. This was a report from the detec from Detective Gumshoe. I had planned to tell Mr. DeBest myself, but it slipped my mind. Hm. So even though you had no investigative authority, you still did as you pleased. I shall report everything that transpired today to the PIC. I will not avert my eyes from the truth, nor shall I overlook mistakes of the past. 
Did he wish to report my actions to the PIC? Be my guest. When in exchange, I want you to let me investigate the case to the very end. Fine. Fuck off. It is not my place to decide such things. I must um, ask that you check with Sebastian regarding that matter. Hey! Good news, you guys! Oh, look who's better. Thanks to our early detection, Mr. Gustavia's life was saved. Mr. Gustavia. So, he's alive. Kill him! Ooh, you... Would you be the ones who saved my life? Hey, Mr. Gustavia. You're so assistant, are you not? You've grown so big this time. This one is your assistant, then. No, I'm... <laughs> He's an assistant candidate and Gregory Edgeworth's son. I am Miles Edgeworth, a prosecutor. Hmm, what a twist of fate. I'm in your debt. It's thanks to you that I have completely recovered. Huh, of course. There's no need for thanks. I get thanks, just for existing. Since you're alive, we can re reach the truth behind the incident 18 years ago. Hmm? What do you speak of? <laughs> While you were unconscious, the truth has started to come to light. You may be Isaac Dover's murderer. Sweats. <laughs> what? Really? Miss Hall was looking for the criminal behind the events of 18 years ago. That's why she set up the poison gas in the Pisces case. Mr. Gustavia, the events of the incident 18 years ago. Tell us what really happened. Hmm. So you wish to remain silent? Nah, I think he's just meditating. He can sleep standing up? What a useful skill to have. <coughs> <coughs> Meditation is different from sleeping, though. Mr. Gustavia, please tell us what you did 18 years ago. Hmm. <laughs> I am the criminal because I fell for the trap. That's a very, not a very funny joke. I'm a victim, not a culprit. Mr. Gustavia, it has not yet clear, been made clear whether or not you are the criminal. This is only their baseless speculation. Do not concern yourself with the drivel of a prosecutor without jurisdiction. Hm. At least there's no, there's one person here who understands. My name is Justine Courtney. I am a judge. If you would like. I would be happy to assist you. Let us show Prosecutor Edgeworth the truth of 18 years ago. Hmm. Understood. I shall prove my innocence to you, Sir Prosecutor. Objection! Judge Courtney, is that your answer? Do you intend to bury the truth of the IS-7 incident before it can, also, can be brought to light? I merely believe in the judgments of the goddess of law. Ultimately, those who render judgment are only human. As long as humans control the law, there is no guarantee that every verdict is correct. If you're going to help conceal the truth, I will not hold back. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. Lady Justine, what should I do now? You're being suspected because you set off a poison gas. Can you tell us the reason? Why did you why you open the Pisces case? Hmm. Hmm. Understood. I came to see uh, Sir Dover's works from 18 years ago. However, I accidentally entered the museum a half hour before it opened. Miss Hall, there was nobody at the entrance, correct? Since I thought the criminal from 18 years ago might be coming, I had no security guards in place. I didn't even lock the doors. Some more? Girl. I was busy prepare busy with opening preparations, so there was nobody on the first floor. In addition, I locked every palace door, aside from the autumn one. I see. 
This must have been done in order to lure the criminal to the Autumn Palace, which is why he ended up entering the Autumn Palace. It's already suspicious that he snuck into the museum in the first place. True. The gallery should remain silent. Unless you have evidence that can prove his testimony false, I will not allow any objections. Gallery? This isn't even a courtroom! Now then, shut up. Why did you open the Pisces case? I wish to view Sir Isaac Dover's handiwork up close. Oh, come on. Really? The Gemini sculpture? No. It was actually the Pisces, wasn't it? The lid had been frozen shut, so I borrowed a burner to open it. Borrowed. But as soon as I opened the lid, poison gas began pouring out. That's quite a uh, convenient testimony. Actually, you can make the argument that it wasn't even... If she did... I think it would have been better if she lied and said, Yeah, there's traps to make sure that nobody opens these cases to steal them. It's to ward off thieves. I think if you like went that way... I feel like she'd have a much easier time to defend that. Because then he'd look really bad because it'd been like, oh, he's trying to fucking steal this. Sounds like a total lie, doesn't it? It's definitely a lie. The There are parts of Mr. Gustavi's testimony that I have issues with as well. However, there is no evidence to disprove it. What? But that's... It would not make sense for suspicion to fall on Lady Catherine before myself. She may have intended to release the poison gas haphazardly. Objection. What? Kate turned on the sprinklers as soon as the gas was released. She was specifically targeting the person who triggered the trap. Mr. Gustavia, you were her only target. You? You are willing to accept the words of this criminal as the truth? Miss Hall must atone for her crimes. However... The, stay, the same can be said for the criminal of 18 years ago. It's a prosecutor. It seems you wish to suspect me to the bitter end. However, I had no reason to murder Sir Isaac Dover. There's no evidence to suggest I killed him. You cannot suspect me. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, can't you prove that Mr. Gustavi is the criminal? All we know for sure is that Mr. Gustavi fell victim to the poison gas. No matter how strange his behavior was, it won't prove he committed the murder. But that's... Mr. Shields, is there nothing we can do? Well, if there is any evidence, we should try reorganizing the facts. Mr. Gustavio was the one who killed Dover. There must have been a motive. Look, the motive has to 1 billion percent be related to something like this. This, whatever this is, there, there is something freaky going on here. I don't know what it is, but it's 100% to do with that family photo. Motive. Mr. Gustavia himself is denying that such a motive exists. Logic. And reasoning. It's not easy to take another person's life. 18 years ago, your old man also discussed motive with Prosecutor Von Karma. He claimed that collaboration is irrelevant. Mr. Gustavi and Mr. Dover's relationship had turned sour. It could serve as a motive for murder. We couldn't talk with Mr. Gustavi 18 years ago, but this time things are different. We can connect. If we connect something that we've learned so far, the truth might be revealed. Yes, I suppose so. Seems I must re-examine the information from 18 years ago. I must recall all the details that have remained unexplained. So, the club finger marks on the picture for him. What's your doing? Oh, no. <laughs> Gloves. Delicia denied leaving the finger marks on the frame. They are left by Mr. Gustavia. He may have been trying to view the angel's recipe. Oh, my God. One senior master asked me to change the film of the camera. It seemed the film he prepared in advance wasn't enough. It wasn't enough film. Seems the number of photos he took didn't match up with the amount of film remaining. Someone used more film, and she didn't. Well, he told me himself it might have been just a mistake, though. 
there's gonna be a lot of fucking things I gotta connect here. The information my father collected 18 years ago is uh, certainly not for naught. There is no evidence that I shall use logic to reveal the truth. This action might be really hard. Okay. Did someone use it? I feel like we could probably connect these two things. Like, he took a picture of it. Sweet. Bang. If he had photographed the contents of the angel's recipe, he wouldn't need to steal it. Perhaps Mr. Gustavi used Mr. Master's camera to take the pictures. If he had stolen the actual recipe book, the police would have found out exactly. I see. Pictures, eh? The problem is at the time of which he entered Mr. Master's room. Mr. Gustavia could have moved around freely during the afternoon tea, right? Because it seemed both him and Dover did not participate in the afternoon tea. So during the time of that, the relationship turned sour. Probably because someone took the pictures and they weren't going to give in give the other person the pictures of it. If I remember correctly, the only time we can prove that Dover was still alive is... The victim was not seen as he stayed locked in up in his room after the contest had begun. And the only one who could have unlocked the locked rooms was Jeff Master. Was Master's dessert all that you ate? Actually, no. After that afternoon tea, I also ate Icy's desserts. After the contest began, Isaac Dover was locked up in his room. We assume that he was killed at some point before Delicious snuck into his room. And there is a high chance that he was killed before the afternoon tea was over. Partnership turns sour in the afternoon tea. 100%. God damn it! I can't see a clear connection between these two pieces. I need to think more. Okay. Motive for murder in the t partnership going south. Okay. Mr. Gustavia, you collaborated with the victim Isaac Dover to create your desserts, didn't you? Well, it seems you know my, about my secret. Mr. Shields told me about it. Mr. Dover handled the designs while you were in charge of the taste, is that correct? Hmm. Back then, my training had been insufficient. Seems you worked together, though, through the semifinals, but not the finals. Why is that? We both wished to compete in the finals against a semester, on our own merits. Liar! You must have also helped with Do Isaac Dover's desserts even during the finals. Mm. What makes you able to declare something like that? Didn't you tell Prosecutor Von Karma about it yourself 18 years ago? That you cooperated until the day before the finals? The sculptures in Mr. Dover's room were all made of sherbet. Such an amount would have most likely need to be left overnight to freeze. Which means Mr. Gustavia prepared Mr. Dover's sherbets in advance the day before. Mmm. Mmm. That's right. So you realize Gustavia's cooperation ended the day before the final. Then why did Mr. Dover not help Mr. Gustavia in return? Objection. I don't care. The views of the dead are of no concern to me. Why did Isaac Dover not help you in return? Mm. Is there a reason why your partnership with Isaac Dover broke down? That would be a motive for murder. Mm. That could be a possibility. However, Sir Dover and I ended our par partnership peacefully. A peaceful breakup? That's hard to imagine. Not to mention, it's absurd to think that I killed Sir Dover in Sir, in Sir Master's room. I couldn't have killed Sir Dover while well, Mr. Master was also there, making his desserts. Oh, thanks. It was during the afternoon tea. In other words, there was no way I could have committed the murder. Nah, are you sure about that? Eh, I don't believe you. 